All right, so now we're gonna go into our chin-up training, or one-arm chin-up training. Now, chin-ups and pull-ups are some of the best exercises known to man. They do an incredible job at building your upper back, your lats, your core even, and your biceps. This takes insane strength. And these exercises are so much more effective than doing lat pull down, doing these machines. Again, this is a closed chain movement. Your hands are fixed. The activation is insane. I've built an incredible back and biceps with chin up training. So I'm gonna take you through the different variations. First things first, right here. All the way up, all the way down. That's your chin up. Now, the next level, you know, we don't wanna go to jump too far. We wanna think about, imagine we're lifting weights. We don't just add 40 pounds to the bar. We add that small increment. So the next version we're gonna be doing is, and this is how bodyweight training can be so effective, is once you get the progressions down, once you learn how to progress to harder versions. So the next version, I call it a mixed grip chin up. So you're gonna have one hand facing away, one hand facing towards you. And you wanna think of this being the working arm and you're just using this right arm to assist. So normally doing chin ups, it's 50% on this arm, 50% on this arm. With this version, we wanna think about going 60% here and 40% here or 65, you know, and 35. So you're gonna do both sides left and right. So right here, like this, again, this is just using, you know, you don't wanna be using too much on this. Try to use the left arm as much as possible. And you need to find that on the first rep, you're barely using that right arm, and then on the fourth, fifth rep, start to use more and more on this arm. So again, this way, try and even move your body closer towards this arm to really ensure you're not cheating. So we're gonna do the archer pull up now. You can either go, you know, you can go here, or you can use, if you have a wide hammer grip, you can do that. I'll show you with here. So, and again, the, the wider your arms are, the harder it is. So here. And that is your, that is your side to side pull up. And again, you know, when you go left to right, that's one rep. Um, and once you get strong, you're gonna find this exercise is really tough, extremely tough, because you're using so much of this one arm, and it's gonna build an incredible back, incredible biceps. Um, now the next level, of course, is we're gonna go back to the chin up, and what we're gonna do is same thing as the mixed grip, but now we're gonna bring the hand further away, and try and just use a few fingertips. Maybe start with three. And as you get stronger, you can move this hand further away. Maybe just use two fingers or one finger and you're gonna find your biceps and your back. The challenge is insane. Most people at the gym are not doing close to as much tension as we're generating. And it's the tension that builds muscle. So again, there's two aspects to gaining muscle that you need. You need tension. Tension is how much resistance are you pushing? So, you know, if you're lifting a lot of weight, that's tension. Or if you're doing advanced bodyweight training, that's producing insane tension. Imagine the tension it requires to lift your entire body with one hand. You're essentially lifting your, your imagine that's two, you're almost lifting, you know, benching, it's like benching double your body weight to some extent, to some level. So it's incredible tension. Now, the second thing you need is volume. And in this bodyweight training program I design, when we start bodyweight training, we do both. We do a lot of intense tension work, and then we get more reps, more volume, over the three phases, we're increasing the volume. So we're getting the tension and the volume to maximize muscle growth. Now, my original bodyweight course, we focused more on the tension and the progressions, but we didn't put as much volume in there. Now we have the best of both worlds for carving out an incredible physique that's strong as nails. Now, the final variation is a one-arm chin-up with a towel assist. Again, this is incredibly hard, and we can actually make it even harder by basically, you know, if you want to make it you know, if you're first beginning with this, keep your hand up here so you have more strength. Now, if you wanna make it harder, bring your hand nice and low. Now it's, you know, we can build up to just doing a one arm chin up like this, but again, you know, to keep it safe, to get the reps in, 
um, I recommend just using a towel. Um, eventually, if you want to attempt a one or two up, you can for a couple reps, but um, the towel will help, you know, avoid putting too much pressure and strain on the joints. And I love the idea of just knocking out five sets of six one arm chin ups, but it's that's a level of strength and intensity and strain um, that, you know, you don't need to get to. You will get all the muscle and all the strength by just building up to sets of six reps with the towel right here. And again, if you want, if you're extremely strong, barely use that towel. Just have the hand there, hold it with as little effort as possible and put as much work on the biceps, the lats, the forearms. If, you, if your bar is a bit smaller, that's fine too. Um, main thing is, you know, try not to use this arm. So right here. That's a tough one. All right, so now we're gonna go Right arm here, same thing, like so. Whew. And that's your chin-up training.